This is Gadget Stop 321 In today's video I'm going to give my first impressions of the PIN BBS 308. This is a, paint, a pen I've been looking forward to using because it is similar in shape to the Sailor 1911 which I really like. It's a little bit longer though and it's similar in style to the 3776 it's just looks like it's just a hair longer but it's a little bit pointier it's more similar in shape to the sailor 1911 now i really like the look of this demonstrator model but it comes in tons of different uh, finishes they've got uh, opaque resins and swirled resins semi demonstrator but I really like this one this one's the strawberry red and I have it inked up with Orochizuku Momiji it posts well and I said in my unboxing that it back weights it a little bit but let's look at this the way I shouldn't have said that it back weights it more the more accurate thing to say would be that it shifts the weight back some uh, when it's unposted oh it's just it's a dream but I do like to post my pins I don't I don't want to knock have my uh, cap on my desk and knock it in the floor the cap is about equal in weight to the pin itself so posting it pretty much doubles the weight of the pin. There's a lot of hardware on it, the clip and the cap band that add a little weight. Let me put my glasses on here. I've got this inked up with the Roshizuku Momiji. Now this is a fine nib. It's a really nice looking pin BBS nib and I want to make a note of See, the nib's not really turned up, it's just the tipping is ground to give it kind of an upward turn. That's interesting. And let's see how it writes. This is so smooth. I love it. My first impressions are, this is fantastic. Let's see. It's not a very wet rider, but just seems to be very well tuned. I like the line that it's putting down. It's, not, it's a very consistent line. But what really jumps out at me is how smooth it is. Let's try a little reverse writing. Reverse writing is not very smooth, but it puts down a very fine line. And so if you're needing to fill in a, a do some tiny writing let me see you can write very small if you flip the nib over so let me see first impression very good I would de describe uh, the nib as smooth and consistent I really like it and Momiji uh, let me write that this is Hiroshizuku Momiji Oops. I 
I need to look it up. I'm not sure if this is a characteristic of a pin BBS. If this is something they do to their nibs, how they grind their nibs, or if this is something that Bobby Penn does to his nib. I bought the this from his uh, shop on eBay. I'd heard good things about him and oh and one thing I want to note in my haste and excitement to unbox this pen I didn't notice that he had included a two-tone nib a replacement two-tone nib in the box I haven't tested this one and I'm not even sure what size it is it doesn't say the size and it is not it doesn't have that upturned grind to it it's just a round the tipping's just round so I'm curious to try that out see what size it is but this pin BBS 308 with the fine nib I like it it's a cartridge converter pin and it's a demonstrator now this is not something I'm interested in but it's got a let's see it's got a little rubber o-ring here so that you could put a little silicone grease on the threads and eyedropper it if you like it came with this converter one thing to note I didn't know this I just assumed these were standard international converters and Douglas Rathburn did a video just recently taking a look at what type of um, converter it was, what type of cartridges you could use with these pins, these pin BBS pins. And I tried installing a, an old standard international cartridge, didn't fit in Douglas's um, experiment that he did. He found that the Parker style cartridges did fit the long cartridges. I can't remember what pin he tried it in. Maybe it was a 308. It was a little bit too long. I'm not sure, but I would recommend check out his video on that topic. But a good thing to know if you're going to get one of these, it's great for um, bottled ink, but you're not going to put a standard international cartridge or converter in here. Another thing I just noticed is I've seen in some of the pictures of these 308s online that there's a tiny little cap liner covering the nut that holds the finial on and the, and the clip, but this one doesn't. So I'm curious to see how that little metal bit, that it's not really a bolt, I'm not sure... what you would call that but there is a little metal piece I'm curious to see how this holds up how it resists corrosion um, I do like the clip on these 308s it's just a nice springy clip I just like the way it looks it's got a nice cap band that says pin BBS and some kind of little design and I have one of the models that says 266 uh, it's really a 308 from what I've heard but these were just apparently leftover cap bands let me see something here yeah the metal there's no resin after this cap band I don't know, I was thinking that there was going to be resin, a little resin bit after that, but I don't know. For the price, and really, I would be willing to pay a little bit more for a pen like this. Um, it's a good value. I recommend uh, checking it out if you're interested in this style of pen. Let me see... I think that's it.
for now. I'll do a more in-depth review. This is the first time I've written with this, so my plan is to take this to school tomorrow and kind of put it through its paces. Um, I like that it has a clip so I can clip it onto my lanyard. Alright, first impressions are good. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.